Hey guys, welcome back. In this session, I'm going to just walk you through three processes. There are three powerful ways to use Digital Marketers Toolbox. Now, we can use a tool to do multiple things. And what we want to do is, one, we have competitive market analysis. Two, if we work in local businesses, we want to be able to see what's going on in that local market. Number three, if we're doing affiliate or we want to sell a specific products on Amazon. Um, I'm going to show you how we can get information back. Now, every process is slightly different. But if you follow the steps, you'll quickly see how easy it is. And what I want to say at the start of this is, guys, slow right down. Stay focused on what it is that you're doing. Don't try and do 25 drills at once and run wild. Just work your way through the system like I'm showing you this now. The reason why I say this is a lot of the work's done up front. We like to say 80% of the work's done for you up front. Take the time now to actually think about what it is that you're doing online. How you're going to market this? How you're going to break into the market? What's the message? What are the headlines that are actually working? What are the questions your market's asking? And with these processes, I'm going to show you how we can extract that information out and use the tool to our best advantage. So the first thing we're going to look at is the competitive analysis. And what I'm going to do now is just change this view so we can actually see it as a list. I'm going to shrink this over here and I'm going to open up the steps. The first thing you do when you get into Digital Marketers Toolbox when you log in is you'll see the dashboard. So the first thing we want to do is essentially create a profile. Now the profile is a place where you can store the entity, the human or the information. So it's basic contact details, where it is or where the business is, what's the longitude, latitude and what social properties are tied to that account. Very, very basic. Within a project now I'm going to jump into this demo, it's a $67 package that we used here and this is where we're going to do the competitive analysis. Now what I've done is step one, I created a profile. Step two, to create a profile we basically filled in the form and we pressed the button. So you see our profile selected there for us and we simply type in the domain with no trailing forward slash and it's a full URL that we use. Okay. Now, the reason why we're doing this is what we want to do is we want to look at the market. We want to understand, when we do a market analysis, we understand who dominates this market, who's the market leader, how much money are these guys roughly making in this market, how much traffic's flowing in this market, what are the conversations that are going on. These are the big ideas that we have to think about. So, what we're going to do is we're basically going to come and add the competitors domains, the authority sites, the market leaders. And in this example, we're all in the digital marketing space. So you know that Search Engine Land, Moz, WordStream, Majestic, uh, DigitalMarketers.com, Neil Patel, Backlinko, these are all market dominators. As we add them in, what it does, it basically gives us a lay of the land, the battlefield. Okay. So all we did here to do this was we took our top three, four, five competitors and we just run them. The information we got back on the $67 bundle is very rich. There's a lot of information and intelligence in here that we can use to build basically 10 websites if we wanted to and I'll show you how. Now when you think about market analysis, we want to find out who's the strong websites. We want to find out roughly how much keywords they're ranking for. We want to find out how much traffic there is in the actual market and how much the traffic's worth. We also want to see what are the conversations that they're having. So the way we can do this is when we kick off, immediately we can see that these are giants. But amongst the giants, we can see who's the strongest, which is search engine land. Now you know that is authority sites, trusted people go there in their droves every single day. So what are the conversations that are had in this actual market? For the guys that are new to DMT, it's super easy. Select the profile, add the domain, select the search engine that you want to investigate and get keywords from, and then name it. Now, the reason why I name this is I want to distinguish with a tag in the description here of what is my website versus what is my competitors. And what we basically do is if I don't have a website yet, like we're doing here in this example, I put the market leaders in and I'm looking at what's going on within all these sites. I can see what each one's about and as a group collectively I can see what is the language is used. So we've done this whole step literally in three to four minutes. Now don't open up 10 browsers and try and run 10 jobs. It's just going to cause problems and corrupt things. Okay, Just run it one at a time. Don't rush along guys. Um, 
you're, not, you're just going to burn through your credits really fast. So that's what I'm saying. Be smart about what you're doing. Think it through. Get the information and build the project as cost efficient as possible. So this is with $67 that we're spending here. I'm going to show you what we can do. Now, this is the top level overview. This is basically the project overview. And in the project overview, we can see all our domains. We can see how strong they are, who they're against. This can be your top five competitors, which it will be in most circumstances. So typically what I would do when I build my sites is I'll add my site. I'll assess where I'm at. How my site's doing? Is it positioned in the right place? Then I take my biggest competitor. I'll add him. And I look at how I'm competing with him. Between those two that I've added, and after I've looked at the market research and the semantic cluster, which I'm going to show you shortly, I then decide who are other competitors that I'm going to be fighting up with against. I might add up to five of these guys. So over here, you can see we've added five top competitors, and we've got a lot of information back from them. So the next thing we're going to do is essentially analyze the results. So let's look at this process. Very, very easy. I logged in. I clicked on profiles, I created my profile for my projects, I've clicked into that profile, I added the domain. When I was finished drilling, I added my next one. I investigated the two. Between the two of these, I realized who the market dominators are and I've come and chosen to drill and get their keywords as well because I believe that my service is fitting in this actual market. The next thing what we're going to do is we're actually going to drop into the projects and we're going to actually analyze this and we're going to start off with um, the market analysis. We've looked at the project, we've looked at the battlefield over here, we know what's going on here. My final point on competitive market research and competitive market analysis is this. Guys, what you need to understand is with the information we've brought back, we can build 10, 20, 100 sites if we want to. What you have in your hands here with this competitive analysis is essentially the market's keywords. And in the next session, we're going to see now how this actually pans out and how we're going to look at it. But understand that there's a lot of information in there. You don't need millions of keywords. You just need to understand the context of the market, how it works, how the cogs turn, how the guys pitch, where they get their traffic from, and execute it and implement it into your business. So I want to break you guys away from the traditional way of doing keyword research where you run and you drill and you drill and you drill and you download this list and that list. Just stop doing that. Just stop it. You're wasting your time. Okay? We're going to look at the best guys in the industry are winning. These guys are winning. Look at it. They're top. They trust about the search engines. Look how much authority they have. They've got hundreds of thousands of keywords that if you think about the keyword qualification matrix and we divide it and break it right down to its core components, there's certain topics with certain places where we can get traffic from. Now, now that you understand this, we can see where the money's flowing. We can see what the context of the subject is. In this session, what I'm showing you is how to actually use a tool. So between these five domains, I've got enough keywords to build any website I want within the digital marketing industry for 67 bucks. And I'm going to show you over the next videos how we unlock this information as we go through this course. Okay guys, now that we've drilled out the authority sites in this competitive analysis, what we basically want to do all these and see what's going on. So you can click into any of these websites and what's going to basically happen is it'll unlock this menu and we'll see market research. So I'm going to click on market research over there. Now, you see over here, sometimes you get this white screen. This just means that this website's blocking X frames. If we go to projects and I click on, say, digital marketer, which isn't blocking, you'll see the website opens up. At the overview level, whenever we click into a project, we're going to land on the overview level. This is basically going to show us an overview of the website. It's going to frame the website in so we can actually look at it while we're here to assess what it's all about, what they're focusing on, and we can see what this website's ranking for, what's driving traffic to their website. In the market research area, when you open the container up, the semantic cluster is where we want to start, essentially, because we want to look at all these websites 
and collectively we want to see what are these guys focusing on. So when I maximize this, we down here on the semantic cluster. Typically what we're doing in a semantic cluster is we're looking at it from a market perspective, we're looking for the markets, the themes, we want to understand where the money, the traffic and the top content is, what are the footprints, who are the players, who are the paid traffic opportunity players. So I'm going to open up here and just minimize everything to show you what we have access to. I'm going to change this to 50 on those two. And what this is going to do is going to show me the organic rankings, the organic competitors, and any paid guys over here. We've come down to the semantic cluster. I'm going to my organic rankings overview. We can see the topics. Tumblr, Google Flights, all the top level conversations that are held within this industry. So the first thing I want to do, now I'm looking at this actual market, because if we come back to our chart, we essentially are at the semantic cluster. Just to remind you guys, the way I got you was, I clicked on my project, I opened up my market research, I looked at the semantic cluster, I'm going to the organic keyword rankings. When I said earlier that we have more than enough keywords, I want to very quickly show you how we can extract the top themes out of any market in the next few minutes. So the first thing I want to do is I want to talk about digital marketing. So I'm going to talk about digital. Okay. If you look here, we've got 263 pages of keywords. If I come in here and I extend the page view, it will extract all my digital marketing keywords. So you notice what? Six pages of digital marketing keywords. How much more keywords do you need? More importantly, we can see the competitors. We can see the competitors' URL structure, what they're focusing on. Traffic, competitiveness. So as we go through this, notice that I made the screen comfortable for you guys so you can actually click through. So if I click on page two, I see the next keywords. So digital marketing jobs, digital marketing strategy, certification, consultants, services, definitions, tools, marketing, labs, media, digital marketing HQ, that's a product they're actually looking for, types of digital marketing, the meanings. You get the point guys, we've basically got the A to Z of all those keywords literally in seconds just by doing that. If I go back to number one and I type in uh, SEO, let's see what we get back. SEO, what is SEO? Yoast, SEO marketing. Huge, huge, huge list. Look at all these keywords. And with SEO, we've got another six pages. So we've got the next page. Okay. So let's look at marketing. And go to page one again. Affiliate marketing, digital marketing, social media marketing. Essentially, we've got every single theme, every single conversation mapped out literally in 15 minutes, guys. So that's the power of using this. Now, you can drill into this a lot deeper. You can go into the actual competitors. So on organic competitors, we can say, show us the top 20, top 50 guys. We can see it. We can say who's getting the most traffic. So we can turn off things. Okay, yeah, you can see it, the traffic, search engine land, where the money flows, those guys are making lots of money. You can pick up on competitors that you've not seen before, that you're not aware of. If they're highly relevant to what you're doing, you just add them to your market analysis. And that's how we basically go about reverse engineering and finding the top themes of the market. Then we have to just sit and think, okay, what are we talking about? How's this working? So I hope that this one's helped you to very quickly see how we can use the market analysis to really quickly get the best keywords in an industry. The last thing we're going to basically jump to here is the questions. Now, 
you've got no product set here, but if you've actually got to drill into a product research, which you can do, but typically market researches, I don't do it. I only add my primary product. I'll go over to Neil. I'm going to set that as the product. And then I'll be able to select digital marketing tools because I've drawn to digital marketing tools just to see what's going on here. I've put our funnel pricings in so you can see the product price, a profit, a click through rate, the buy buttons on the page, the phone call conversations, opt ins. Now we'll click on how. There's 480 questions that come back. How do you start a blog? What are followers? We can very, very quickly see exactly. What are the questions the market's asking? We can click on any of those. We can see the pages ranking for that. So if we just come over here, this tool I'm using as web developer, and I come over to uh, information, and I come over to document outline. <laughs> How hard is it to actually just utilize this and see exactly what he's doing? Guys, I've made it super easy for you guys to reverse engineer the market. So with this little method, let's just quickly recap on what we've done to do the market analysis. One, we created a profile. We added our competitors that we felt were relevant in the market as authorities. We came to market research and we looked at the group as a whole using the semantic cluster. We then found the top themes that we're interested in. We could see exactly what keywords we wanted to use. We can write those down in our butcher paper and or notepad wherever you want those notes and then we've jumped across to the questions what are the big questions it's as simple as that step one create your profile step two add the domain you want to look at step three add the other authority sites in the industry step four go to the semantic cluster and look at the top level themes use the filter to extract what you're interested in and observe all the keywords step five look at the questions and that will help you get a feel for what's going on in the market